Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are going to discuss today linear equation in two variables. In last lecture, we had introduced the graphical solutions and we had solved some questions. In this uh, lecture, we are also going to solve some questions uh, which is given in um, books that is exercise 3.2. So, let us discuss some questions. Uh, there is no specific theory today, but uh, we have to solve some questions which is given. So, that will be basically formation of linear equation. How to form linear equations with the given conditions that we have to learn here and thereafter we have to solve some questions. So, basically uh, formation of linear equation is very important because the students usually not able to format the equations uh, from the given language. So, today uh, you have to learn how to form basic linear equations from the given condition and thereafter there will be some solutions as well. So, the first uh, instruction is given in form of question um, that is question number one that form the pair of linear equations of the following problem and find their solution graphically. Form the pair of linear equation, pair of linear equation, linear equation, form the pair of linear equations in the following condition, in the following problem, following problem and find their solution graphically and find their solution, solution graphically, graphically, right. So, how to find their solution graphically and what is the way how to form. So, there are two questions in this subsection and question number one says, there are two questions, one is it is given that there are took part in took part in mathematics huge in mathematics speech mathematics speech if the number of girls number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, more than the number of boys, number of boys, then find the solution graphical boys, then find the solution graphical solution graphical graphical right so this is a question and we have to deal with this question so there are two variables here how to uh, read and understand the question there are two variables who take part in which one is girl and another is boy so these are the two variables we may assume that number of girls may be x and number of y may be y. So, in solution we can write let number of y number of y are x y the x and number of girls who took part in keys are y. So, clearly total 10 students took part in mathematics. So, definitely number of y and number of girls will be 10. So, according to question, number of boys and number of girls would be 10. This is the first condition. So, it will be first equation. And number of girls, 4 more than the number of boys. So, y is 4 more than the number of boys. So, y minus x is equal to 4. This is second condition. So, we have uh, two equations. One is x plus y is equal to 10 and here y minus x is equal to 4. We have to find uh, the solution of this question by graphical method. So, we need to uh, draw a graph 
related to this and there can be a graph like this right so here uh, that is considered to be x and y and this is x dash and y dash so if you have a graph then definitely you will be able to calculate it x plus y is equal to 10 so x is here I can write the graph for x plus y is equal to 10 and to make graph for this I can use a table draw a table for x plus y is equal to 10 and uh, there can be a value like say like this and that will be x and y so i can write this as x and y there will be at least three value can be taken two values can be taken for the plot a graph but if you get a point of intersection on x axis and y axis then there is no need to take any other value of the graph so if i took a value of x and y here we will get it so say this is x and this is y let this is x and this is y so if i took x is equal to 0 y is 10 if i take x is equal to 10 y is 0 for first equation i am writing here x plus y is equal to 10 and if i take x is equal to 3 y is equal to 7 right now so 3 and 7 uh, and x0, y10, these are the three values which we can plot. So now draw the graph of this x plus y is equal to 10. What is that? Uh, if I draw a graph for this, then graph will be like x plus y is equal to 10. And that would be the graph, of course. Right? So that will be 10, this point of intersection will be what, 10, 0 and that will be 0, 10 and x3, since this is 3, uh, 10, so there must be, this one is 5 and that will be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, similarly that will be 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So that is 0. So 3 is there and 7 will be definitely there. So that will be 9, 8, 7. So 3 and 7 will be this one is the point of intersection. 3, 7 is this point. Right? Now for second equation, if I am writing y minus x is equal to 4 and uh, again plot the same table, then what will happen? So, if I put x is equal to 0 there, then what will happen? x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 4. And if I put uh, y is equal to 0, then x is nothing else but minus 4. If I put x is equal to 3, then y will be 7. So, 3 and 7 are common points. And x, 0, y, 4 will be there. This is 7, so that will be 6, um, 5, 4. Uh, 0, 4 will be this point you know 0 4 will be this point so line must pass through uh, this two points and you may write here like that will be line 0 4 and x minus 4 y 0 is with this point so minus 4 0 is this one and this is 0 so both of them intersect at 3 comma 7 and therefore 3 x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7 is the solution. So basically x is equal to from graphical representation from graphical representation equally it is found that found that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7 solution of this equation because both lines are intersecting and therefore there is a unique solution. Now uh, the next question um, that I am going to take here 
that uh, another part of this question that is given here that uh, second part second part of first question is given five pencil and seven pen five pencils pencils and seven pens together cost 50 together cost could be 50 right and where are the seven pencils? Where are seven pencils? Pencils and five pens together cost five pens together cost forty six together cost forty six rupees forty six. Find the cost of one pencil and one pen. Find the cost of one pencil and one pen. Find the cost of cost of one pencil. One pencil and one pen. You just note down. Pencil and one pen. Right? So one pencil. One pencil. So we can assume it that let cost of one pencil be x and cost of one pen is y. Let cost of one pencil is rupees x and one pen is one pen is rupees y. So of course five pencil and seven pen. 5 pencil cost 5x and 7 pencil cost 7 pens cost, uh, cost 7y and that is equal to 50. This is first equation. And second equation is 7 pencil cost 7x and 5 pen, pen cost 5y and that is 46. So this is second equation. Now we have to deal with these two equations 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 and 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. Right? 5x plus 7y is 50. And 7x plus 5y is 46. 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. Again, we can plot a graph for it. And now, let us uh, write here. I am going to make this table. So, here what will happen? This one should come. So, let us. Uh, so, here I have put the value of for a different 7x plus uh, 5x plus 7y. If I put x is equal to minus 4. Then it will be minus 20, that will come this side 20, 50 plus 20, 70. So 7y is equal to 70, y is equal to 10. If I put x is equal to 3, then 5, 3 is 15. 15 will come this side, it will be negative. 50 minus 15 is um, 35, and 7y is equal to 35, so y is equal to 5. Similarly, we have put the following values, and here also, if I put x is equal to 3, then 7, 3 is 21. If 21 will subtract from this side, it will be 25. So 5y is equal to 25, y is equal to 5. Similarly, if I put x is equal to minus 2, then 7 and minus 2, that is 7 to here. Um, so here is the graph and we plot them. Uh, let me uh, draw a line which is a uh, even from. This one say this is a x axis and that is x dash. This one is y axis and y dash. Y axis okay, and y dash. So there will be point like a, here x is I can write here points needed. You can just see the scale that what is the range of the points that you needed 
minus 4 to 3 and here uh, 3 to 8 x is 3 to 8 so maximum x 8 is required and minimum is x is 8 and minimum of x is minus 4 so I can plot the graph like this there will be points like uh, this is 1 say this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 5 6 7 8 right and that will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 like this similarly there will be uh, also y is required maximum 12 and 10 also that is 3 and 5 so let us see the some points are there i can write here there is this is 0 and now 1 2 similarly but first uh, we will look for 1 2 3 4 5 you know like this there will be minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 as well minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 that you can mark and write a scale as well so 6 now what is the value of x minus 4 and y 10 that will be 2 uh, i and that is given the capacity of the graph so x 3 y 5 we can take it uh, you can draw it, but you must draw if you have a plot the point then you should must draw this all uh, in your graph as well you must incorporate them so here because of the lack of space i have not plotted this so that is one again so if i plot this x is 3 y is 5 this is the common point so x 3 y 5 is there i hope this is point 3 and 5 so graph of this and another point is those which will come in boundary that is uh, x minus 4 y 10 uh, and uh, x 4 y 4.4 x 4.4 and y 4 so x 4.4 will be somewhere like 1 2 3 4 because it is division of 10 so 4.4 and y 4 that will be like this so this line will be definitely intersecting x minus 4 y 10 let me extend this line Wait. in case your scale is less then you can take it like 2 4 6 8 10 like that and that will be also 2 4 6 8 10 isn't it and that will be minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 and minus 10 like that that will be again minus 2 minus 4 right now and minus 6 minus 8 and minus 10 like that you can write here so now uh, we have first point is x minus 4 and y 10 x minus 4 and y 10 will be like this again the point x minus 4 and y is 10 so this will be point that is minus 4 and 10 x is 3 that will be between 3 2 and 3 that is 3 and y is 5 so between 4 and 6 so point will be here only you know between 2 and 4 and between 5 and 6 so 3 and 5 is this point similarly uh, the third point is x uh, 4.4 and y is 4 so that will be somewhere like this isn't it so line will be like this if you plot this uh, graph then uh, line will be like say and that will be the line and uh, line is like this line will be like this
y is 0, then x will be 10. So, that will pass from here. That will be pass from here. Right? So, that will be the point. Now, the next line will be um, x3, y5, that is the point, and x8, y minus 2. x8 and y minus 2, that will be the point. x8 and y minus 2, that will be the line. And uh, when x is 3, y is 5, so that will be the point. So, here the line will be like, uh, again, this line will be passing through these two points x8, y minus 2, and uh, the next one is passing from 3 and 8. 3 and 5. So, that will be the point of intersection. So, both the lines will intersect here only. x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. So, from graphical, we can say x is 3 and y is 5, which will satisfy both of them. And therefore, we can say the solution is cost of pain. x is what? Cost of pain is 3 and y is what? Cost of pencil. Cost of pencil is x and cost of pain is y. So, cost of pencil is, therefore, we can say cost of pencil age, each pencil age rupees 3 and cost of each pen, pen is rupees 5 and that is the satisfying request. So, now uh, let us see the uh, next question. So, now there is a question on comparing the ratio of A1 by A2, B1 by B2, C1 by C2, find out the whether the following pair of linear equation are consistent or inconsistent. In very first exercise, we have learned this, the condition that uh, if A1 by A2 is uh, not equal to B1 by B2, then system has unique solution and they will be consistent. And if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2, then also system has infinite solutions and it is also said to be consistent. Inconsistent if and only if there are parallel lines and parallel lines if and only if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. So, we have to check that conditions in the following equations. The question number first is given that 3x plus 2y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 7. So, since here a1 is 3 and a2 is coefficient of x so that is 3 by 2 and b1 is what b1 by b2 is b1 is 2 and b2 is minus 3 so since a1 by a2 we will write a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 and therefore system is consistent and a unit solution then system is consistent consistent we have not to tell about whether solution is unique or infinitely many. So, I am just writing here the system is consistent. Now, the second question which is given here is 2x minus 3y is equal to 8 and the second question is given 4x minus 6y is equal to 9. Here, a1 by a2 is equal to what? a1 by a2 is 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 and also b1 by b2 is equal to what that is minus 3 by minus 6 it is also equal to 2 by 2 now then there is a need to find c1 by c2 as well so c1 by c2 is 8 by 9 clearly clearly a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 and therefore, system is inconsistent because it will represent two parallels. Then, system is inconsistent. Is inconsistent. Right? Okay. Now, let us see the question number third. Question number third is here, and we will see that question number third. That is 9x minus 10y is equal to 24. And the second equation is given here like uh, 3 by 2x plus 5 by 3y is equal to 7. 
Now, if we look for a1 by a2 here, then that would be 9 divided by 3 by 2. That will be 3, 3 is a 9 and 2 will multiply in numerator that will be 6. Also, b1 by b2 is nothing else but minus 10 upon minus 5 by uh, minus 10 upon 5 by 3. And 5 by 3 will cancel this. 5 by 3. 5 by 3. So, 5 cancel this 2 times and 2 multiply with 3 is 6 but minus 6. So, clearly since here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 and therefore system is consistent. System is consistent. Isn't it? I hope you got it. Now, next question. Question number 4 and fourth question is given here like uh, Question number 4 and what is that? That is 5x minus 3y is equal to 11 and minus 10x plus 6y is equal to minus 22. So again here you can check it a1 by a2 is equal to 5 upon minus 10 that is minus 1 by 2. b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 by 6 that is also minus 1 by 2. And C1 by C2 is 11 upon minus 22, that is also minus 1 by 22. So, in this case, since here, all of them are equal to minus 1 by 2. So, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. Then, system has infinite many solutions, line are coincident, you know that. And therefore, system is consistent, is consistent. So, you have to tell about whether the system is consistent or not consistent. Now, let us see one more question of this category. That is question number 5. What is that? 4 by 3x plus 2y is equal to 8 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. Now, here again a1 by a2 we can write 4 by 3 whole divided by 2. That will be 2 by 3. And b1 by b2 is also equal to 2 by 3, right? Now. And c1 by c2 is also equal to 8 by 12, that is 4 to 8 and 4 3 are 12, so 2 by 3. Here also uh, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. So since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, and therefore system is consistent is consistent. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, moving to the next question of uh, this category, uh, like uh, question number 4. And what is that? Which of the following pair of equations, um, linear equations are consistent or inconsistent? If they are consistent, then find the solution graphically. But uh, that I would like to discuss in the next uh, after the break because it will be a long question and uh, it's time for break now. So, uh, that will be discussed after the break, uh, question number 4 and onward. I hope you got these conditions and definitely you will be able to understand. Now, you can uh, try your own but uh, we will discuss in the next um, session. So, thank you. Thank you for watching. God bless.